Hello everyone, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses Redux uh, Aqua deck. Last time we um, upgraded our deck a decent bit and we uh, beat Thea and um, Tristan. Today we're going to go and uh, face uh, Margaret My Buford and see how that goes. Uh, the deck hasn't changed since the last episode, so it's pretty much just a starter deck with uh, three crab turtles and a fully maxed out deck leader. That being said, we definitely still need um I was kind of curious, yes. Fish and Aqua wants to do get weakened on the wasteland, which makes uh, enough sense. Um, let's... I guess we can do this, sure. High Tide. The amount of uh, actually like useful uh, boosting... We've got Manovler, Nuzzler and a High Tide. With High Tide, I mean, it's good for the fish monsters, but it doesn't actually work on, uh, on the Aqua monsters, which is a shame. Ooh, that is interesting. We can make a uh, Kaioshin. Uh, I shouldn't have done that, though. I guess I'm gonna have to place you there to just save. Kaioshin is pretty good because it turns uh, area into water. Hey, we barely win against Peacock. Seven caught fish, do your thing. Okay. Maybe he drives up, spits in his face. Pretty disrespectful, but you know, it's the seven colored fish. He does what he does. Uh, do we have a fish? We do have crazy fish. Oh, we got bottom dweller, but then um, a little less excited about bottom dweller, if you ask me. Let's do that to start off with. Get a little bit of C. Sort of figured he'd run away to that side. Uh, you know, we could really use root water if you ask me. All right, Tongyo. Um, I'm gonna place you here. Karushin, you can um, get rid of whatever this card was. It was a monster were born. Okay, that's Harpy Lady Sisters. Well, good thing we at least lowered its attack by 500 points because that thing is a little scary. Uh, especially on mountain terrain. Yeah, we still don't have a, a, an Umi card, which we pretty desperately need. I mean, instead of that, or, uh, the Roaring Sea Snake, but I prefer uh, Umi, probably, at the moment. I'd say another thing is that uh, when it comes to the deck leader abilities, uh, we don't have a one-star Aqua, but if we get a one-star Aqua, we could get the terrain change with them, which is uh, a pretty good ability to have. It's just that it's only on low monsters, and that also means that you're not going to get that 500 uh, points of uh, uh, life. No, not life points. You're not going to get 500 points of uh, what's its face for it. We should um, just... I think I'm just going to wait... We don't even get Crab Turtle next turn, but we'll see what happens. 
Um, Alright, it goes in defense mode because it, I think it's not stronger than uh, what's its face. Yeah, I think we're just waiting until we get Crab Turtle here and hope that he just casually attacks into it. That being said, I can get rid of these four, uh, all these fish monsters for now at least. Yeah, let's hope he attacks into it. Or she attacks into it. She does, that's excellent. Alright, Crab Curdle don't care about your triangles, and then he's just going to do crap people, crap people. He's going to do crap things. You kind of got to love Crab Turtle. Oh no, he's used Monster Reborn to get back uh, Harpy Lady Sisters. That's good. I turned this into water! <laughs> this shall be water. Okay, a fusion, a twelve of Harper Lady Sisters, let's be real. I'm trying to think, where do winged beasts even get weakened? Do they get weakened on the water? That wouldn't surprise me completely. To be fair, I don't need, I don't think beasts were weakened on any spot except for, you know, Toon and Crush. But everyone gets weakened on those spots. Oh no, Slinky Fish Root Water died. Alright, well, time to turtle this shit up. Crap, people, crap, people. It's the power of crab. Alright, they died. Alright, how much does he have left? 700? Oh. Okay, and we got root water here, which... That's cool, but... Maybe slightly too late. Amazon of the seas, we don't really need it. But uh, let's see what he does. Get rid of that thing. <laughs> uh, move forward. Hey, look, we can summon lads like Water Magician. I think we do this.
Okay, that was a little stupid of me, but hey. We didn't die. And we could finish it off next turn anyways. You know, slight risk, but... We survive. And Kairushin uh, got promoted. Ain't that a cool thing? You're telling me that Harvey Lady isn't in slots? Like, I know the sisters are uh, triple slot monsters, but... Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure you get Harpy Lady by female plus winged beast. Alright, I don't know, I, I'm assuming. Not that the RP Lady is that strong on its own, but who knows? I don't. I haven't seen the Winged Beast deck, but I'd assume it has a Harpy Lady to start off with. But yeah, now we can go over to Dover. If you're looking for a boat to take you to the continent, climb aboard. Nah, man, I'm just gonna go on my crab turtle. My name is Mako, card mercenary of Britannia. At sea, you're in my element. I've been waiting for you to cross my path. Defeat me, and I'll deliver you to the shores of Bologna. Bologna, I don't know. It's not my language. I'm sorry, guys. I know Bologna is a city in uh, Italy, but... I know they, they're definitely not referring to the city in Italy. But we got the crab turtle. And we're actually in our element, so it doesn't have that advantage over us. And those, we don't really need our fish monsters that much. Nor do we really need uh, water dragon fairy boy lady. 2600 is pretty strong. I know uh, Meiko likes to use a bunch of uh, what's it called cards. Cards like uh, Tears of the Mermaid and stuff, but honestly, if we get like. I mean, I'm really just waiting until we get what's its face, uh, Crab Turtle here. Alright, power increase, so it's probably going to beat over me. Yeah, the Roaring Ocean Snake. 3500, pretty strong, pretty scary. We're going to want this dude for our own deck at some point. Yeah, that, that's not slowed down, by the way. That's just how that attack goes. It looks like the, it's slowing down, but it's actually just not. Hmm. I will say, Roaring Ocean Sneak is a hard card to deal with if it wasn't for the fact that um, we kind of just have a good what it's called for it. Um, that is Shadow Spell. That's not great. He'll do a lot of damage to us now. I mean, if he's gonna attack at least with Ocean Sea Snake, which it is, that's. Ooh, that's 2200. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, kind of unlucky that he just got a, a boss monster out straight away and I didn't. I mean, he usually. I know that Maker usually just starts off with, like, whatever trap card and then goes into, uh. 
a strong monster. He's got a shit ton of uh, trap cards. And we definitely don't want him to use uh, Aqua Cores before I've got my own monsters up. Because Aqua Cores boosts all water monsters and also boosts our monsters. That's, I was hoping Mega wouldn't have been that hard. Because we have water monsters of our own. But I guess it's just not that easy. Although I do know that um, he doesn't beat over Crab Turtle easily. Alright, I'm just going to uh, rid my hand of you. Uh, fuck! Um, yeah, no, I'm stupid. I was thinking, oh, I'm just going to get rid of my hand and then use Paralyzing Potion. But now I've paralyzed my own monster just to die right here now. Suddenly, he goes into defense mode. Alright, he doesn't even beat me with that thing. Be he gone. Yeah, there are a lot of random aqua monsters that... I mean, we can get them from Mako, I guess. I mean, our monster's paralyzed, but it's still gonna kick your ass. Although we have to be super careful about um, not stringing his traps, which can happen relatively easily. Put you in defense mode. High tide, that could be nice. I'm a little afraid I might have messed up there. No, that is good. He attacked this way. Yeah, he would have. If, if this guy would have gotten stunned, we would have died. Straight away, but at least that thing loses 500. Although, Starboy does boost up everything. We need a Starboy as well. Like, hot damn. Assuming it only boosts up by 300, but that 300 can be pretty uh, important. I don't actually know if he's got enough attack power. I think he does. I mean, he buffed himself up at 300 as well. I'm assuming Starboy does 300 and not 500. Well, water magician, <laughs> do your magic. We're, we're, we're getting pretty unlucky though with, our, uh, with these uh, cards we are drawing. Like, I need a crab turtle, let's be, let's be real, to do anything. However, I didn't realize that water magician was a female. I always thought it was a dude. I mean, I suppose it should be obvious considering you can kind of see her chest. Although it may have been... that may if, To be fair, it wouldn't have surprised me if this card in its TCG variant has the chest removed. Yeah, man. It's 
a little scary. <laughs> We're just not allowed to draw a crab turtle. Although we've actually only gone through half our cards, so... If you attack, you should actually lose another 500 here. Yeah. So we do a thousand more life point damage to him. The deep sea shark. And this ugly bastard. I do know for a fact this card is a fusion monster in, uh, in a vanilla game. Mind you, not a very good one, but still, it's one. I think it uses Tongyo as one of its two. Um, I think it uses Tongyo and Amazon to see as its two uh, materials, but I'm not 100% sure. You got some, sometimes you got some really weird combinations in that sense for uh, some early fusion monsters that just don't make a whole lot of sense. God damn. Am I just not allowed to, uh... Am I just not allowed to just draw good cards? But one thing is clear, he has a tag into me, obviously. Alright, this monster is Octoserber. Or October Sir. October Sir. This dude. That being said, I see a lot of aqua monsters that we can make use of here. Man, this guy is so happy with himself, like, holy shit. This card also definitely did not come out in the TCG. Alright, now we get Crab Turtle. Well, hit you at least. Instead of biting you, I'm gonna shoot a laser beam at you. You creepy fish man. Alright, well, that knocked him down another, uh, I think, 800. So, he's down to 700 life points. We should be able to. S we're slowly chopping him down, let's be real. One, two, yeah, I mean, it's a suicide. How's the nozzler work on you? It does. I mean, 500 for you, you get to 2900. Not that it matters that much, but... I think I'm gonna wait a turn. Alright, well, it can't hit us yet. I'm gonna put Crab Turtle over here and see if he goes and attacks it. Because that could very much be a Turs and a Mermaid. It was a Tears of the Mermaid, god damn it. Still, 2950, it's still something not to be messed with. 
all that fucking work to get about, <laughs> and he just dies instantly. Um. Bless you there. Maybe he attacked into the other one. Who knows? He's not very keen on attacking me though. This is where Muyon Curry comes into play. So how many he's got? We've, how many spells have we sprung? We've sprung two shadow spells and a turns and a mermaid. I'm just gonna wait a turn. German. Okay, slow motion time now, suddenly. Um, let's sack off these two monsters to make. Amazon of the seas. We'll get rid of him next turn. But uh, drawing into like another crab turtle would be like not too bad. Like it's very clear that we need. Okay, that revealed everything. So this is not a. This is a trap card. We know that for sure. Fortunately, we got our crap turtle number two in a little too late, I think. Don't know what this monster is, but it is a monster. I think. I think he's got five monsters, and this is the trap card. Alright, well, we sprung his last shadow spell. Let's see if he's willing to attack into that. Ha ha ha! We win! That's an interesting game how that went because like we knowing that he's got traps set up everywhere, you kind of just need the AI to attack into you and luckily enough they do that sometimes. Okay, goddamn, <laughs> that's pretty brutal. All right, our red archery girl, snipe that little fish. Boom! And that is a victory! So yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of cards there which could be useful for us. Like, uh, Starboy. Well, I mean, at least we got three unique monsters. 
No, but uh, off screen, I'm probably going to grind a couple times against Mako Tsunami to get his best cards. As um, as a good game, good game. He's definitely not a walk in the park. But that's one thing, though. He is not a walk in the park. And he probably never will be because, like,. I can only really fight him on equal terms instead of fighting him at an advantage, so like getting cards like Umi later on probably won't even help me that much, but uh, getting a couple more uh, Aqua Monsters definitely helps, like Jellyfish, what does Jellyfish do? Well this card is first from a defense position, all Thunder Monsters are reduced by 500, that is very random. And we got these two cards, who are like high cost. But that's also it. They cost a lot, but don't help us a lot. Well, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.